Hello everyone and welcome to my answer session for my 500 subscriber Q&A session. Um, so uh, we're going to play Oblivion for a little bit. The picture quality for these videos isn't going to be so good because I figured we're not really playing the game, I'm just going to wander around in it and um, you just I'm just answering questions so it's not really about the game so I thought I'd just lower the, uh, the quality a little bit so so it'll be easier to upload because there might be a few of them because I got a lot of questions. So uh, I'm also a little bit hungover this morning. Too much Guinness last night, uh, but I've, I said I'd do it on Sunday, so I'm doing it on Sunday. So I've written all the questions down. I haven't written like who asked me what. What is it now? So, uh, but I've written like a, what you asked me. So okay, well, let's start walking, shall we? This is my. I just made this character. He's just. I, I took him to Shaden Hall. He's just a level one Breton uh, generic kind of guy. I don't even know if you're going to be able to read this, but that's him. Um, all right, let's uh, let's let's start walking, shall we? And uh, first question: How do you make your voice sound like it does? Well, that's um, that's a different question. Uh, I well, I, I don't like change my voice. I, this is how I talk. So you know, I'm, I, 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 I just talk. You know, I mean, I'm not like putting on a different voice or anything. Uh, I don't, I don't know whether I missed anything in that question. But how do you make your voice sound like it does? I don't, I don't know. It's just how it is. I'm sorry, if it sounds weird, but it's, I'm stuck with it. I'm afraid. Next question: What do you use to record your LPs, and what do you do for a living? I use fraps mostly. Like now, I'm using fraps. If I'm using like um, if I'm recording, um, say Golden Axe, like anything in a window on my desktop, I'll use Cam Studio. Um, but mostly, I'll be using Fraps. And what do I do for a living? I work in a warehouse. I send out broadband packs actually, um, for a major internet service provider. Uh, so I'm I'm working on a wrapping machine, sending those out. I could do better, honestly, I could do better, but uh, it pays the bills. But uh, I, I should, I should better myself. I've been there too long now. I need to move on. Uh, have you ever played Shadowrun on the Super Nintendo? And if so, what did you think of it? No, I haven't. I'm afraid I haven't even played on the Super Nintendo. I didn't own one, and I haven't played one. No, I know. Don't, don't, don't block me. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll look down. I'm sorry because I, yeah, I, I haven't played on the Super Nintendo. As far as I remember, I haven't played on one. Uh, I had a Mega Drive 2, um, or is it like a, is that called like a Genesis or something in America? I don't know, but I was I was playing Sonic and Streets of Rage and Mario and Revenge of Shinobi and um, stuff like that. I wasn't I wasn't really a Nintendo kid. I was more of a Sega kid. So no, I haven't. So I can't. I don't know. Do you prefer Morrowind or Oblivion? Why? Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Well, before I answer, uh, even though I have answered. In, in various mediums um, before, uh, I'll just say that they're both great games. They both have their strengths and weaknesses, um, and I've got a lot of enjoyment out of both of them. As you see, I, I own both of them. Um, but I prefer Morrowind uh, because I can overlook Morrowind's faults um, better, easier than um, I can overlook Oblivion's faults. The main problem I have with Oblivion is the scaling. I hate the scaling. Everything's scaled to your level. The loot, the monsters, you know, everything. Everything is scaled to your level, so the world effectively remains exactly the same. It's, um... Why did they do that? You know, it completely ruins leveling up. I mean, what is the point of leveling up? That was a nice shot. There isn't one, is there? Oh, hang on. I've just turned the cheat god mode on, so now I'm invincible. Because I don't want to be actually playing this game. I want to concentrate on the questions. So yeah, it's it's Morrowind. I mean, Morrowind has its faults because Morrowind is um, the combat's rubbish in it. I mean, with, with I you saw there, you know, when I was like hacking hacking away at that wolf with my sword, and you know, the blows actually connected with my foe. Also, it's easier to. Uh, cast spells when you're in combat rather than switching from uh, melee to uh, 
spells you know that's that's always a pain in, in Morrowind it doesn't it doesn't help that you've got to switch from melee to spells um, so the combat's a lot better hello in uh, in Oblivion um, but Morrowind's got so much more to it there's so much more soul to it you know it's like um, Alright, so it's a bit vague. It's very hard to get into, actually, because you don't know where you're going or what you're doing, and there's, there's no real compass. But then again, in Oblivion, the compass really annoys me because it's it's there all the time, and you can't turn it off, except with a mod. Um, and it's just like, it points you to exactly where you need to go. And it really annoys me. You know, it's like you don't have to use your brain at all. Oblivion's a lot easier. But um, is that a good thing? Is that a good thing? I don't I don't really think that it is. Um, if if Morrowind had Oblivion's graphics and it had its combat system because it's got like fat it's it's much better with like uh, with archery and stuff then it would be like the ultimate RPG. Um, but I gotta say Morrowind it's like in Oblivion if you join the Mage's Guild you don't even have to cast one spell to get to be the Archmage you don't, you don't even have to cast a spell you know it's it's ridiculous in many ways it's. I mean, it's much, yeah, it's just, it's like it's they've made it ultra accessible and so, so easy and streamlined to play that it's not real, you know, it's just, um, I don't know, it's, it's just, if you take away the glossy sheen from, from Oblivion, there's far less there than what there is in Morrowind. Alright, moving on. But they're both great games. What is the oldest video game that you have played that you can remember? Uh, well, the one that, that, that's probably the oldest that I um, have specific memories of is a game called Barnyard Blaster, but I don't remember what system it was on. It used a light gun. Um, it might have even been one of those those daft um, VHS uh, tape games that you put in your VCR and it played and, and, and used a gun to shoot things on. And um, it was just like a, a farmyard shooter where you shot um, tin cans and uh, all sorts of rubbish like that. And I remember it because um, at the end of the game it had like five levels. And at the end of the game it gave you a rank. And the worst the worst rank was Egg Collector. And I remember my dad used to play it sometimes and he was terrible at it. And he always got Egg Collector. He was like, Egg Collector again! <laughs> um, he wasn't very happy. So uh, that's, that's what, Banyard Blaster. But I, I can't remember. I mean, I, I had an, I had a, um, a Commodore 64 as well. I remember playing playing stuff like Turbo the Tortoise and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and and all sorts of rubbish on that. Um, there was a There was a game where you were a park ranger and you had to collect tin cans and stuff and half the screen was land and half the screen was water and there's people drowning in the water and stuff. I remember that as well. I'm not sure which one came first. But Banyard Blaster stands out for me. Um, what is your favourite gaming console? Well, I've only ever owned three. I'm not counting PCs here because that's not really a console. Uh, I've had a Commodore 64, I've had a Mega Drive 2 and I've had... A, a Nintendo 64 and out of the three of them I have to say that N Nintendo 64 um, just pips the post because it's um, games like GoldenEye, uh, Mario Kart things like that um, multiplayer type games they're, um, they're just so much fun and uh, I've had hours of fun on my Nintendo 64 and it's still plugged in actually so uh, sometimes I have a blast on that it's, oh, which way, which way, which way it's Let's go this way. Um, so yeah, my Nintendo 64 has got a special place in my heart, so so I think I'll have to do that. Okay, next page of questions. Do you like nachos? Yes. Have you ever played any online game this year, 2010, and last year? And if so, what are your favourites? Well, the only online game I've played this year is Titan Quest. Which I'm LPing with uh, a user called CJune23. Um, or Chris. Um, well, last year, I'm guessing by, by um, online games, you kind of mean MMOs, and the only MMO played I've, I've 
game I've ever played is a game called Shea by Aria Games, and it was a free-to-play game. I mean, you can you can buy things in the in the mall to make your character better, but I, I never spent a penny on it. 